We finally made it to Amsterdam. The city of canals, small streets, and apple pie. A country we used to live in, so we know there's more to Amsterdam than just the usual tourist spots. Which is why we're taking you along. Our favorite spots here in the city. Oh my gosh. Anything here in Amsterdam. We're Dan and Nikki, and after living in Hawaii, we set out to travel again. We invite you to click the notification bell so you can follow our journey around the world. We're starting nice and central at the train station. Today's a typical Dutch day. It's cloudy, it's gonna rain a lot, but we decided to vlog anyway because this is the Netherlands and we were gonna show you our favorite spots here in the city where we used to go to when we were both living here and dating. We're here in the middle of August and it's cold. Yeah. I'm the only person here wearing shorts. Because for some reason, after a year in Hawaii, we still can't really gauge what to wear right. other than shorts. What's the most touristy thing you can do here in Amsterdam? Well, I'm about to do it. on the Damrak, which is a very popular touristy street here in Amsterdam. And we are going to the Dam Square, and that's where it's all happening. Now we're in Dam Square here in Amsterdam. This is the center, and we are here because from this square, we branch out to our favorite spots here in Amsterdam. All right, and when you're in Dam Square, you notice that there's two things that outnumber the people. That's bikes, and pigeons. Yeah, that's true. So now we're gonna go ahead and try to get out of the hustle and bustle and yes. head to the Western Canals and a neighborhood that's called what? De Jordaan, which is one of our favorite neighborhoods here in Amsterdam. You'll soon see why. Jordaan is one of the most known and romantic neighborhoods in Amsterdam. We love the atmosphere there with lots of brown cafes, lively streets, and picturesque canals. But on the way there, we see so many things that characterize the city of Amsterdam that are worthy to mention. So as we're now walking to the Jordaan, you just see the typical things of Amsterdam, right? The crooked houses, gingerbread style, canals, so many people on bikes, prostitution is legal, certain drugs are legal. That brings uh, a lot of tourism here. So you can also feel that in the vibe here. Yeah. of the city and, and then not to leave out all the amazing museums and yes. history but a lot of people who are visiting amsterdam are mostly for those visiting two things. For the former yeah the first stop is an area of canals that is beautiful to see and explore by foot so now we're here at one of our favorite spots in the city which is on our walk to the Jordan. you walk through these neighborhoods filled with canals and it's so beautiful and idyllic and so Amsterdam that we just love to spend some time here, make pictures, walk across the canals and the bridges. I think it's so interesting how like just one street over is the busy Dom Rock and then you come here and it's so peaceful. So get away from the main square and you'll get different types of Amsterdam all in one day. Another thing I love about Amsterdam is that you have these little corners where it looks like we are in the 15th century. I feel like after trading all day in the 1600s, I'd come here to get a beer and just kind of think about the day. Yes, that's exactly the vibe I was trying to describe, but that's how I feel. Amsterdam is like the rings of a tree. It gets older the closer you get to the center. The city is filled with small streets and nooks that make you feel like you've stepped back in time. So, I love apple pie. I just like sweets in general, so I wanted Nikki to take me to a, a spot where I could have some good Dutch apple pie. And this is the spot she took me to, so. Oh, we've been coming here for a very long time to get these apple pies. They're some of the best in Amsterdam, in Holland, in the entire world. So if you come to this neighborhood, you gotta get these apple pies. So 
just had our favorite apple pie here in New York Dan, where we always used to go to together. Now there's one other place that we always used to go to, which is an Italian restaurant that we stumbled upon years ago. Don't really remember where it is, but we remember, we remember it, we know it when we see it. So we're gonna walk around the area where we know it is. So we're gonna find that and show you where that is so you can see the awesomeness of the place. It's Strupwafu Cheesecake. Thank you, God. I think it's in the alley. I see it already. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't see it, no. I see it, we found it. It looks so idyllic. Let's see if it's open, I have no idea. It's closed. There are a lot of restaurants and places that we used to go that's closed now. So hopefully they're able to reopen yeah. and come back. Because this place was delicious and had a ton of memories. <sighs> okay. You know, even though things have, some places have closed down, just gives us a little bit of an opportunity to find new put new places. Yes, so we're just walking around, just like we explored this beautiful pastry just now, so we can have breakfast in the Central Park of Amsterdam. Uh, croissants here do not cost as much as in the US. Like it's no. very easy to make the bread, they make tons. So you can get a croissant for like a euro. money on your trip here in Amsterdam you can just grab these pastries or something else that you want to eat go to a park and just have your breakfast here it's a pretty big park though that's why I said Central Park of Amsterdam so it's nice to start your morning here walk around and see the nature that's what we're gonna do today Amsterdam, you're gonna see the houses are very like tight and the doors are very kind of small. And you're probably wondering like, how do they get furniture? How do they get things up into the second and third floors? Well, if you look at the top, you're gonna to see a small hook uh, and they put, and they strap that to a pulley and they pull up like uh, wood. Or it feels kind of ancient, but it's really fun to see, huh? Yeah. Different ways of doing things in different cities. Now we're here at the flower market or as we Dutch say, Bloemermarkt. You can buy all the touristy things here that you don't need, like tulip, tulip bulbs, wooden tulips, clogs, clocks, slippers. Anyways, it's fun to walk around because you see those typical, stereotypical Dutch things. And it's your first time, huh? Because why would I go to a flower market? Because it's a tulip flower market. <laughs> <laughs> and this store has dried flowers on the ceilings. It smells delicious. That's pretty nice, actually. And also here you can buy a clock. <laughs> so overpriced. 20 euro. I think Nikki likes the flowers a little bit more than I do. We're just here because it's on the way to our another stop here for the day, which is the Bichainhof, a very cute courtyard hidden in the city. Let's go see it. It's a short walk from the flower market to one of the best known courtyards in Amsterdam. Created during the medieval times, Religious women used to live here under vows of chastity. And there's still 108 women living here. Bechina used to be pious Catholic women. But they did not want to take vows or live in a convent. So they used to live here. I think the last Bechain woman died in 1971. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how peaceful this is. And it's like right next to the very like busy shopping yeah. street. Yeah. It'd be interesting to, to live here, I think. Yeah. And they only keep it open for like five hours a day. All right, that was a peaceful stop here in the bustling city of Amsterdam. I really feel at peace now, but I'm ready for some coffee. And we find that in the nine streets, 
which are nine streets of boutique shops alongside the Dutch canals. The start of the Nijkstraatjes is here and we usually uh, have a coffee and tea at the store and then we start strolling around the nine streets. It's such a beautiful walk and we love to do it together. You really have to be on your toes when you're crossing the street here in Amsterdam. When you see the flower burger, it can mean anything. It could be vegetarian, <laughs> it could be marijuana based, anything here in Amsterdam. All right, so we're gonna wrap up our Amsterdam time here. We're walking back to the station. We're leaving right at the right time because there's a big thunderstorm coming. But don't be sad if you come to Amsterdam and it's raining because Amsterdam is beautifully romantic in the rain. I mean, it rains all the time, so you all gotta, the time. you gotta find the good. And the good is that it's beautifully romantic. We are always missing the, the train. We're like just on time. Oh, this is it. You sure? Yeah. A lot of people that are looking at us. I'm getting Look at really those houses. Shy. We're here in the middle. We're here. Ugh. Even though you can get coffee in coffee shops. And I hear they're pretty good. Well, I know they're pretty good. I mean, uh, <laughs> okay. all right. I was going to say something <laughs> fun, but I can't say it. So, and Dutch people stare. Ah, uh, these pastries. Oh, there's a wasp. <laughs> Is it on me? It was, it was on you. Is it gone? <laughs> Is it gone? <laughs> no. Oh my God. All right. So that was fun. <laughs> yeah. What does the fox say? It's not going in the block. Come on. Nice. What does the fox say? <laughs>